Ahoy! Um, here's a quick overview of my of my build, Sonic model F1 wing. Um, now the flying weight is 670 grams, including with the battery. That's a bit on a heavy side, but um, it's because of the gear that I used in that, and I will tell, I will explain you more. Uh, servos, 12 gram uh, metal gear servos. Uh, didn't set them up yet, so it's not glued yet. Uh, I have a multi-copter motor uh, from the racing drones uh, 2208 uh, 2300 kV RCX motor now let's have a look inside what I did in there uh, batteries I sold them my own batteries is a 1.55 amps uh, 4 cell battery I will be using just just fits in right uh, on one side to counteract a little bit of a pork, prop pork um, soldered the uh, cut the little bridge not the solder I cut the little bridge and glue it on with epoxy to hold the battery so my uh, my receiver is at the bottom and my video transmitter is at the very bottom which you can see here uh, it's a boss cam 2.4 gigahertz it needs a lot of cooling uh, standard camera HS 1177 I think or whatever whatever they go in there this is the crossfire uh, a channel a channel uh, receiver uh, sold on my own antennas uh, they are the 1-8 wave monopoles as long as uh, there's a diversity like it was fine on my previous model I tested 2-3 kilometers on dynamic power, 100 milliwatts, that's plenty. So, <clears throat> uh, my antennas goes there, the video, it's all goes out at the back, my clover leaf. Um, now, the wiring, I have I have three UBEX in there. One UBEX 5 volt is powers the servos and it powers the cam uh, so which way no 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 so, sorry uh, one you one you back one you back powers just the servos the other one powers the camera uh, and uh, and the receiver that's about 5 volts and the third you back it's uh, 12 volts that powers the video transmitter uh, this video transmitter uh, it's been known as a bit noisy for the video so I wanted to power the camera separately. There's a noise-free, uh, noise-free little UBEX uh, two amp each. So for the video, that's more than enough in there. And I cut out a few extra holes for cooling. That's never enough cooling. The more, the more, the better. Also, as you can see, I added on these from uh, made from three millimeter balsa because uh, they've been known like them wings are a little bit of a wagging but i wouldn't have added them but then there was the there was the case about the about the center gravity they have these marks and i don't like adding on dead weight so whatever whatever my builds i'm trying to move the gear to get the center gravity roughly right so i can move the battery up and down to get it perfect but in that case i cannot move center grav i cannot move the battery here it's just tight tight and i was Pushing everything forward as much as I can. Uh, the transmitter, the the receive. Sorry, the receiver is a bit on a heavy side. I would have gone with the micro, but that's the one I had. That's the one I use. Also, the video, the video, video transmitter uh, VTX. It's a it's a bit on a heavy side. Otherwise, anyway, I just moved everything forward so my center gravity was a little bit a little bit nose heavy. That's why I added these ones, uh, plus to get rid of the wag. But then they are uh, they only three millimeter balsa, so that didn't that didn't work out. The last thing I did is I put the little spacers on the motors to move the motor back a bit. That's why my center gravity went perfect, right on the spot where it has to be. All right, so she's ready to go. Waiting for a better weather. See you again.